Welcome. In this series of tutorials, we're going to teach you how to properly clean your EX6 extruder when switching between different plastics. You're going to need to have the following equipment ready. Pause the screen now and gather your materials. Ensure that your machine is powered on and heated to the appropriate temperature for the plastic that was previously used. If no plastic was in the barrel, heat the machine according to the temperature recommended on the purge material packaging. Pour about a cup of purge into the hopper. Extrude until you've extruded all the purge material. Purge material is an abrasive substance designed to scrape the barrel and screw, effectively removing as much plastic and contaminants as possible. Use a socket or flat wrench to take off the nozzle. Now remember, the nozzle is hot, so handle with caution. Remove the hopper from the extruder. Your machine should still remain at extrusion temp for the next steps. Make sure your screw speed is off, meaning not rotating. Insert the brass screwdriver into the feed throat where the hopper usually would sit. Use the flat end of the brass screwdriver to act as a lever to wedge the screw out. Once the flight of the screw starts to emerge on the nozzle end, you can use the screwdriver as a lever on the flights over there to remove it further. Use gloves to pull the screw out the entire way. Place the square part of the back of the screw in the vise. We will need to wait for the plastic to cool before we pull it off. Purge compound cools rather quickly, so don't wait too long. Pick at one end of the plastic to see if it has cooled enough to the right consistency. When you pull on a piece and the plastic stretches, it is still too hot. If you pull on a piece and it sticks to the screw, it is too cold. We want the consistency that is right in between. When you've taken off as much plastic as you can, we will move on to the circular wire brush. Run the brush up and down the screw until all large pieces of plastic are removed. If you still have plastic in hard to reach places, take a thin piece of copper gauze and wrap it around one of the flights. Cross over the top and pull back and forth to get the hard stuck pieces out. If you find you still have a spot that isn't coming off, reinsert the screw into the barrel and wait for the plastic to melt again, and then repeat the process of removing the plastic. However, you must clean the barrel first, which is the next step. If the plastic in the nozzle has hardened already, you can screw it back into the extruder and let it warm up again. After a few minutes, it should be the right consistency for removal. Use pliers to grip the plastic at the back of the nozzle and pull it out. If not perfect, don't worry. You can expect any extra pieces will come out at the start of your next extrusion. With the nozzle out, use the shop vac to vacuum up any plastic left in the feed throat. Grab the brass bristle rod and the copper gauze. Wrap about four inches of gauze around the end of the rod and insert the other end into the drill. Make sure your drill direction is such that when you power the drill, the gauze does not unravel. With the drill running, insert the rod into the barrel, moving the rod around so all points of the barrel are thoroughly cleaned. To make sure all stray particles are out of the barrel, we want to do that same technique again, but have the shot vac on the hopper. The shot vac will suck up any material the gauze wasn't able to grab. It's nice to have help for this part, though it can be done on your own. Use compressed air to clean out any remaining debris, all while hovering the shot vac above the feed throat. While still being at temperature, put the screw back in the barrel. If you run into any obstructions, then there is still debris in the barrel. Use a flashlight to see down the barrel and search for any debris. Take a moment and focus on the screw socket in the back. If there is any plastic in the corners of the socket, the screw will not sit correctly and will not turn during extrusion. To properly seat the screw, insert the screw into the barrel about 90% of the way. Turn the screw motor on and use the end of the brass screwdriver to push the rest of the screw into the barrel. You should feel the screw slide into place as it gets properly seated. The screw should turn consistently and you should be all set for your next extrusion. Your extruder is clean and ready to work with a different plastic or different plastic combination. If you have any questions, reach out to contact at philobot.com so we can get you the support you need to enhance your extruding process.